Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and three stars in the melty molten galaxy. That's all we have left before the true end of this game. Whew. First up, the sinking lava spire. I already said this one back when I, uh, skillfully got past it. And by skillfully, I mean, I saw a hungry Luma and I went for it. Meaning, I did not actually beat this level yet. There's more to it that we've yet to tread. You know what? I'll just see if falling into the volcano does anything. It... Apparently does. Star bits. But, uh, also I should get out of there. That would explain why it erupts moments after. Though it'd do that regardless of whether I hit that button or not. Hmm. Anywhomst. Sling. Using pull stars. These are pull stars. The the small orange one is sling stars. I need to start getting this right. I've played this game too many times to be using the wrong terminology. But I'm so used to flinging myself with these instead of just, well, downright pulling myself all the way to one. Oh, wow, what a tough challenge that was. It's not like I could see that launch star coming a mile away or anything. And we sling off this onto this little rock here. We're just gonna skip past some... Okay, my spin didn't work when I wanted it to. That's okay. I kind of deserve it anyway for wanting to skip past these enemies when there wasn't anything to skip to. It's star chips, not just a launch star at the end. But now there will be a launch star at the end. And now I'm as if, man. Ah. Oh. Well, that's a little upsetting, but not that upsetting that I'm gonna cry over it or anything. Can you... thanks, Mario. And now, skip a platform, because why the heck not? I'm pretty sure that cutscene set me to a point earlier than what I jumped to. And here's the titular sinking lava spire. Well, what you were, were you expecting? It not to sink into the lava? It's in the name of the dang thing. But also, there's a speedway up. Let's just uh, hit that. Now, get my wall jumps going. And I feel like I can do some sort of skip here. Or not. Not if I just slide off that edge. That doesn't help me at all. Now I can... I can just flip up here and get the... I was expecting it to be a three-hit one. Star. Now... What, two more before the final galaxy in the game? Wait, no, there's gotta be a comet as well. Three more. Three more stars. And then the final level has two. Yeah, that checks out. What do you mean that hungry Luma is already there? But... But I have two more stars I need to... Excuse me? 
Hey you, yeah you, tasty star bits, feed me a bunch, I'll burst with snacky happiness and transform. 16,000. Well, uh, I kinda have more than enough. Also, I said 16,000, I meant 1,600. 1,600, you get the... You get the point. But, uh... The snow ca Never mind. Maybe the final level does only have one star in this game. Because one here... Hmm. Or is it you need... 120 stars to unlock that level, and the game just has two more total stars than I'm remembering. Because I remember it's themed around the 120 like Mario 64, but... I might be misremembering something specific. Anyway, catch all the bunnies in a certain amount of time? No problem, probably. First off, I'm pretty sure there's one that involves hitting all those switches. And... It's gotta be one for opening this chest. Whoop. That's not how you open that chest. Oh, there's another switch. There's another one. Ah, that nets me the fire flower. I need to clear this area out proper. Understood. Why did it bounce that way? Bunny in a hole makes it easier to catch. Uh, two more. I spawned this shell so I can get into this chest. And that one literally hopped straight into the hole. 69 seconds left. Nice. But the last bunny... Excuse me? Uh... God knows what the last one was. Because I completely forget. Completely and utterly. Because apparently ground pounding these spots aren't it. The, it has to be something to do with the weird cracked spots, but I don't remember specifics. At least I think it's something to do with the weird cracked spots. Hmm. Well. Rip. Hmm, the fact I lose a life over this, come on game. Why does it spawn me on... Oh, right. I forgot I had to sling star over here, but I'm sure I'll figure it out on this run. It was one of the small cracks in the ground, just not one I went over for some reason. Also, Bunny, can you please other hole? Can... There we go. Oop, that wasn't the angle I needed. Also, I didn't need an angle anyway, I needed to uh, do that. That one jumps straight into the hole. And now this one. Get in there. And I can catch all three of you 
in quick succession. And there we go. <laughs> I give up, take this star boing. Will do. Yeah. With this star in my possession, uh, d d between three and five, uh, d an amount to go. Four, apparently. But is this four until something new unlocks, or four until I'm actually complete with the game and should go fight Bowser a second time? I don't know. I don't remember. Leave me alone! Okay then. Four more stars, apparently. Two of which are currently shown here, but I imagine there's at least a prankster comet as well. Makes three stars. And then that would mean... There's only one star in the final galaxy in the game? But I swear that final star is meant to also have a Daredevil Comet version. Hmm... Oh, right. This second star, the level's got a bit of a meteor swarm thing going on. That was... Almost perfect. Ah, uh, I had an idea, I went for it, it didn't work in my favor. Anyway, I need a fire flower apparently. Or at least a fire enemy close enough to lure into those, but the ones I saw spawn didn't seem close enough. You, can you come up here, sir? Ah, he can. He just didn't want to earlier. There we go. And, uh, launch star. I'd like some coins, please. I don't want this beeping to last forever. That coin... I can't tell, is it... Is it background? No, it can't be. I literally can't move foreground or background in this setup. Okay. Beeping over. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't doing something stupid before I collected that coin. You know, like walking into my own death or something. That'd be... Ah, oh, I was hoping I'd get the perfect arc underneath that. It would have been so sick. And also would have been very thematic with me talking about doing something stupid. Because, well, clearly that was a stupid thing to do. But it could have worked in my favour if I was a fraction of a second earlier on my backflip. Um, wait, there's two more? I feel like I've missed one somewhere then. Oh, it's gotta be in the box. Also, pretty sure I can't spin those potaboats out of existence. Blue potaboats. Are they even still potaboats? Anyway. Time to get off this measly rock. And on to the next measly rock. Except this one's... Uh... Actually, kind of... It's got a bit of a J shape to it. And also has some... Actual, uh... You know... Man-made structure, so maybe it's... Oh, I hate that. I hate that these things are going to get in my way enough to actually set off the bullet bill. No, you don't. And... 
Easy peasy. Oh. Anyway. Onwards to the next. Oh god. I completely forgot about this segment. Hold on. Okay. Carefully. Okay. Gotta wait here. And... We're gonna play this slow and steady, except for the parts where we aren't, because I think I can risk it and would look good doing so. Okay. Nice. Played that so safe. Completely risk-free gameplay right there. Oh, so worth it. Except, here, I have to jump. Hang on. Gather speed, jump. Oof. That was so beautiful. Ah, oh, the risks that weren't worth it but paid off anyway. Mwah. I'm gonna be gloating about that until the next time I screw something up. Which, you know, shouldn't take too long. But as of right now, I am a god. Straight up. If you can play that level taking those risks, you've earned godhood. I don't make the rules, except for the parts where I do. Anyway, Daredevil Comet. Followed by a star. Yeah, that implies there's only one more. Hmm. Anyway, Lava Spire Daredevil Run. Oh wow! Doing this level but without getting hit? Surely that's going to be tremendously difficult. Wow. Such difficulties I face as walking between narrow gaps that I've already shown an ability to walk through before this point. Although I could have sworn... What is the point of the lower area then? That's so weird. Anyway, may as well get all the star bits. And... Upwards and roundwards. Roundwards is definitely not a word, but let's, for the sake of this, say that it is. And wait for that one. It can't be that foolish in this scenario. It can be a little foolish, but not that foolish. And launching around. Okay, we sling across. We get this chip. We long jump away from that one. We momentarily knock that one out for safety. We knock that one out definitely. We grab this, we spin jump that one out of the picture. We're gonna take this guy out there. And there we go. Smooth as silk and or butter. I've made use of both of those already. Hmm. You see, this is probably a good time to try and do the old, uh, quick strats. I don't think I'm gonna be able to jump up the side early there, but as long as I take <sighs> this way up, 
I should... I might not make it due to, honestly, my own stupidity. Ooh. But this is perfectly fine. Oh, I think the lava is scripted to speed up at certain parts. But, with that... I think I skip some of those scripted segments, and I can easily, if Mario will actually hit the rock... Oh, please don't let Lava Boy hit me first. Oh, I was so scared of dying directly next to the star, but because I haven't screwed up, I still get to brag about the star ball and this. Ooh. So, last star before hitting the final 120. Assuming there's not that Daredevil Comet that I thought there was. But I'm pretty sure there is. It might be 121. It may... You know what, I'm actually kind of dead set that it's 121 at this point that there is the final level and then the perfect run of the final level, and I knew there was a reason for that area to exist. Turns out it's used for this star. Anyway, it's the first boss of the game, but slightly more challenging. Whoa, what a crazy concept. I've never seen a video game try something like that before. Not even once. Or twice. Or, like, seven times. And straight through this warp pipe. Leads us to this sling star. Ah, this rock again. I tried to long jump, but neither my crouch nor my jump inputs registered. Wait a minute. Where's... There's no star chips this time. So how do I get off this rock? Hmm. Curious. Could be a kill all enemies situation. I'm going to suspect that's what it is. And just this one to go... Yep. Kill all enemies. And... yep. Oh no. This... hunk of rock... rotates! Ah! What a... terrifying... T absolutely... horrifying ability! Oh. Gotta collect the chips in this rotating maze of platforms. Easier done than said, if you're not an idiot. I, however, happen to be one such idiot. Nah, I'm just... I'm just trying to, uh, make it harder for myself on purpose for a challenge. Well, there goes all my bragging rights. They were nice while I had them. Easy first star chip. I'm fine with taking that hit in order to get up here. That was a sick ass side flip, fully intentional mind you. And then easy fourth one. Uh, where's the one? Oh, that's the one I missed. Okay. Oh, and the last one's up there? Not a problem. I fully planned all of that. I half planned some of that. <laughs> anyway. Sling. And sling. And sling. Wow. And sling. I don't need your one-ups. And I have a life shroom already. Crack. Ah. 
He's a little bit toasty right now, but sometimes he's not. That that's the trick. Just wait for his tail to not be on fire when you spin it. Also, I didn't intend to actually touch it there. I just wanted to stand by it, but uh well, I stood by a little too close. Anyway, this is just about as difficult as the first fight. But also, oh, oh no, he's spitting fireballs, he's leaving a trail of fire when his tail is on fire. It's, it's so scary. I swear, I'm just moving at bad angles. I mean, Mario ran in a circle for a full five seconds there, if you didn't notice. Like a small circle, like the gravity combined with camera angle was playing up, but, you know. Easy star. Shouldn't have taken the one hit that I did take. Hmm. Well... That is star 119, which means... Where's 120? Oh, there's purple coins in the Melty Molten as well. Yeah, so it's 120. The first star of the final level, then the Daredevil version of it? 122? Really? I don't remember it being 122. Oh well. I suppose we'll sort out that confusion in the next episode. Bye.